Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Bobby Rose DIY Home. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Share this video, comment, get notifications. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this elegant sconce. It looks difficult, but believe me, it is very, very easy. Just sit back and watch. Here's a list of items that you're going to need. Feel free to pause your screen at this time. Take a screenshot. Whatever it does best for you. These are some items that I have from Amazon. I used the top one because I had that available already. But you can also use the reflective at the below. Dollar Tree has these chargers and they look nice. They're available in a shiny silver, a gold, and of course, you know, they have the plastic. You can paint those any color you want. Here's what we're going to be doing. At the feel free to screenshot this or you can always come back to it. But you're going to be, at the end, you'll have four of each. Four of the cones and four of the squares. This is why you'll need two squares. It'll create a platform to compensate for that depression of the charger. This is what it's going to look like after you have attached that. Attached your reflective paper. Like I said, you can always use mirror reflective paper as well. Here I am cutting out my foam boards. After you get one cut out, just use the two for patterns and cut out your other three. And here, this is where you want to glue down those squares, that platform, with E6000 glue, fix all, and use your, use two, either one of those along with your hot glue gun, making sure it sticks to the charger. After you have placed down your cone on the charger, mark it, then you know exactly where you're going to need to put your your glue and after that just press it down make sure it gets that adhesion and it is good now here I use the gold glitter paper but you can use whatever you want to do your decorations with if you're gonna use um, if you're gonna use the glitter glass make sure you use enough of Mod Podge I ended up using more of the gold glitter paper, that arch you see. It turns out I didn't really need to make that arch at all. And like I said before, I um, it's used, um, ended up extending the gold glitter paper to the bottom. And here, it's time to attach your cutting board that you've decorated to the platform to the cone. Once you apply that in, go ahead and do repeat that for the other side. It's just that sample. And this is what you have once you have everything glued in. Now those push lights from Dollar Tree come with Velcro. So they're going to be easy to detach and put in new batteries. And just look at that glow. Like I say, the silver paper adds to the reflection of the light.
Thank you for watching. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe for my my videos and get notifications. Comment, share, of course, give me a thumbs up and check the comments for descriptions and links.